Well, as I say, guns, gold, and a getaway plan. Gold is number one for me. You know, you look what happened when the uh, the, when the Fed raised rates, as you know, we're going with, as we're talking, and we had forecasted. We said they're going to raise them only 25 basis points. That's the word on the street. We've been saying that before it became the word on the street. They raised it 25 basis points. We said if they raise it 25 basis points, the markets are going to go back up. The markets are up. They were down. Now they're up. We said gold prices are going to go up because the dollar is going to go down. So gold to me now could make a real bull run. Gold could go over two hundred dollars an ounce. Two thousand. Yeah, two thousand dollars an ounce. By the way, my first buy of gold was at one hundred eighty-seven dollars and fifty cents an ounce back in the seventies. So I could see it going well over two thousand twenty-one hundred dollars an ounce, and the dollar is going to get weaker now. And the markets are going to go up, but the economy is going to keep going down. The charade is going to be the markets going up. But again, as Oxfam came out when the Davos meeting came out, you got the one percent got what twenty-seven uh, trillion dollars richer in the last two years, while we the people of Slavelandia got no nothing when you put inflation into it. You see, the people will realize how bad it is when the markets crash, and the markets are going to stay up now because of the cheap dough. Because they're not raising interest rates that much. Again, when you look at the real inflation rate, you go to John Williams' shadow stats. It's double what they say it is. They changed it from the '80s on because they didn't want to pay people more Social Security because the CPI numbers attached to the Social Security number. So they rigged it. So the housing prices went up 40 percent in the last two years. You know, we're not putting that in. People are living in apartments. They're doing different things. We make it. We make a new scale. So. When you look at the real number of what the interest rates are and what the real inflation number is, interest rates are in negative territory. Now, when they raise them again, if they raise them again, 25 basis points, it's going to bring the economy down even deeper. But the economy is going to go down from here. And again, it went down before they raised them. Look what the Christmas sales did. They were terrible. And this is important. They started firing temporary workers during the Christmas season, the holiday season. When they fire temporary workers, that's the signal that the bad times are coming. This is the 26th week in the Trends Journal. We've been showing the layoffs. When the economy goes down, layoffs go up. You go back to the Panic of 08. When did it happen? When they started laying off people? 2007. Go back to the dot com bust. Same story. So now they're laying off temp workers. Retail sales are already down, and America has seventy percent of its gross domestic product is driven by consumer spending. And now interest rates just went up another twenty-five basis points. Oh, the housing market's already flat, huh? It's already losing, huh? It's going to lose more. But the big crash, the big crash that virtually no one talks about. One of our top trends that we've been talking about since about April twenty twenty. Is office building bust? Your office occupancy rate in the ten major cities in the United States is at fifty percent. That means fifty percent of the people aren't going back to work. That means all the businesses that depended upon commuters going out of business, and all those office buildings that were filled up with people now even that fifty percent coming back are only coming back two or three days a week. So now you're renting ten stories in an office building. You know, I only need two now. You're going to see an office building bust, the likes of which we've never seen. Oh, interest rates just went up 25 basis points. Oh, now you got to pay more on that variable loan you got now too. You got to pay more as business is going down really bad. Oh, we're going to convert them into apartment houses. No, you're not. Not the ones that were built in the last 50 years, according to the data. They're not convertible. You're going to see an office building bust. The economy is going to keep going down as the equity markets. Keep holding the charade that everything's just fine uh, with with the economy slowing down like this. You know, you could start seeing crashes in different fields. Yet the Nasdaq is going up as the, as they're firing all these people across the across the board. I mean, what are, what are you kidding me? You know, it's 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 all fake. Look who's running the country. Again, I'm not making it up when I say the banksters. Look at the the, the clown playing the United States Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. Oh, where did she come from? Oh, you mean before that she was the head of the Federal Reserve? You mean to tell me the head of the Federal Reserve is now the U.S. Treasury Secretary? They're It's running the show. But to me, gold is number one. And again, don't believe me. Ask the central banks. They had a record year buying it. They know how bad things are. I prepare for the worst. If the worst doesn't happen, 
and you prepare for it, you lose nothing. If the worst happens and you're not prepared, you lose everything. Like what I told you about about uh, 9/11. As everybody's freaking out, I had my guns gold in a getaway plan. I'm getting out of here. Is everybody? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Now I'm going. What am I going to do? You know, There's no surprise to me. You know, in the Bronx, we used to say payback's a bitch. You can't keep pill killing people all over the world and not expect them to kill you back. Every time Bill Clinton got caught with his pants down, his bombs away over Baghdad. Madeleine Albright, UN ambassador to the United States UN ambassador on Leslie Stahl, 60 Minutes. She asks, Leslie Stahl asks Albright, is the death of 500,000 Iraqi children because of the sanctions that Bill Clinton put on Iraq worth it? And Madeleine Albright said, yes, it is. And that's what's going on. There's going to be payback. So as everybody's freaking out, saying, "Oh, how can they do this to America? We only kill people when we want to." Now I'm saying, "What am I going to do, man? How am I going to how am I going to save my life?" Again, from Canada, the reason I was going to go to Canada again, it's four and a half hours from me, and I was and I had all the back roads. You know, I wasn't going to go through the you know water. You know, I was going to take the back roads, sneak over, and go in. And I figured from Canada, I could go anywhere I want. I could get out of here. It wasn't I was going to stay in Canada. And that's what I'm telling the people to do. To prepare for the worst. It's right on the doorstep. I mean, listen to the things that they're saying. Get in the best shape you can, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and do something positive every day. You know, I work out every day, but I do an old-fashioned thing. They used to call there used to be this guy called Charles Atlas. He was in the back of the comic books, and and in the comic back of the comic book, he's sitting on the beach with his girlfriend, having a nice time. And a guy kicks sand in his face. Now the guy makes fun of him, and then he does Charles Atlas, and he beats the guy up. It's dynamic tension. So you're using your own strength against your own strength. And you know, again, I've been, I had my own school for close combat, you know, for many years. And so I work out every day and do my my close combat routines. And I watch what I eat and I cook. You know, I buy all organic. I love. I cook and I get my to get my mind off the the crap. You know, so I I make sure that I really. Fine, all the time, and like I go to restaurants too, but you know, and I, and, but I always buy organic. You know, it breaks my heart to see how this country's gone down, and I want, I want a renaissance. I want to bring back the joy and beauty. What followed the Black Plague, the Renaissance? The cats got hip to it. Hey, man, we're killing ourselves. We got to go back to when it was much better. Alla Romana, alla Antica, the manner of the Romans and the ancients. That's what they said to describe the quality of the work that they were creating. Again, you look at America from ragtime to swing to to R and B to rock and roll to Motown, and now it's no town. It's one bad rap, and it's all synthesized. Lost it, and I'm saying, bring it back. Bring back that spirit of the immigrants when they came here, when it was the land of opportunity.